Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist, and in today's video, we're gonna go over a record of a 54-year-old who's in the ICU, and they have a history of a subdural hematoma. So they have some blood sitting underneath the dura, one of the layers before you get to the brain, and that's causing some irritation, and the irritation's causing some epileptic activity on the EEG, which I'd like to show you guys now. So when we first open this record, we see a clear asymmetry the left side, these electrodes, the odd numbers, obviously have much more spiky activity than on the right side. This is an example of what can happen when you know a patient has that blood sitting in the subdural space, irritating the brain, causing it to have focal slowing and also epileptic activity. These are called lateralized periodic discharges. They're nearly continuous. They pretty much don't stop. So this is a big problem that needs to be taken care of immediately. So this patient is on continuous EEG monitoring, monitoring these spikes that just keep coming. You know, they're spiky. You can prick your finger on them and they're happening on the left side of the record. Now, what is the doctor gonna do to treat this? They're continuously happening, that is not good. Well, the patient's already on anti-epileptic drugs, Keppra, they're on Dilantin, Phenobarbital, and let me think, one more, I think, uh, Midazolam, that's a benzodiazepine. So they, they're already trying a lot of stuff to stop it. That's uh, continuously seizing, status of epilepticus, nearly continuous, left hemisphere on the left side as we saw periodic epileptiform discharges these are lateralized to the left side and yep left hemisphere that's what the doctor had to say about this record so one thing you do while monitoring this patient as the doctor adjusts medications trying to stop these lateralized periodic discharges on the left side they could look at the trends of the brain data over a long period of time. This record is just a five minute clip, but multiple hours and days of monitoring this patient, you could see the left side. This is what it looks like with the lateralized periodic discharges. And it looks a little bit less hot, I guess you could say on the right side. Now this can also be seen in the amplitude where the left side is the blue line and the right side is the red line. The red line is below the blue line. The blue line is higher, left side, higher amplitude than the right side because the discharges are happening on the left side. So as time progresses and if you're able to stop these epileptic discharges, both of these lines, the blue line will go back down to match the red line and they'll be a lot more even and symmetric. But right now this is just completely happening nearly continuously and it's a medical emergency you don't want to miss something like like this on the EEG this is something you'd inform the doctor about immediately and hook them up to long-term monitoring if they're not already you can tell that they're actually epileptiform because they spread they have a field they're most prominent I'd say in the O1 area but of course, O2 is right next to O1. Even though it's on the right side, you see a little bit of it spreading to the right side, but it's definitely happening a lot more on the left side. Thank you everyone for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you wanna learn how to read an EEG, I'll send you the software that I used. I made it myself. It's a project of love, guys. I'll send it to you for free and 15 examples of EEGs you can look at to learn how to read an EEG. If you haven't already, all you have to do is go to my website, ioneeg.com, aioneeg.com. Send me your email. I'll send you a copy of my software for free. Love you guys. And I'll see you all on the next video.